my name is Francesca, I'm 16 and I want to go into engineering. I'm taking my GCSEs this summer and I'm excited about what the future could hold for me with a career in science. I've always had a real interest in maths and physics and along with my love of DT, it led me to think about pursuing a career in engineering. But in the UK, less than 10% of engineers are female and it's a similar story in science as well. I want to know why people like me don't want to go into jobs in science and find out if people know all the opportunities that are available to them. So I've come to the Big Bang Fair in London, the UK's largest celebration of science, technology, engineering and maths for young people, to find out more. James, no, not James Watt built the engine for the steam train, that's all I can think of. <laughs> they specialise in lots of different parts, so, you know, there's lots of versatility and variety you can do in engineering. I just think of them as people that sort of build things. Engineering, probably metalwork and sort of robot, robotics and that sort of thing, and hinges, I don't know. So it seems that some young people know a lot about careers in science and engineering and some don't, but that's the purpose of an event like the Big Bang Fair, so students can find out more. I think events like this are fundamental because it gives kids a chance to not think of engineering as being, you know, academic or kind of a uh, part of the curriculum and it allows kids to really kind of grow their enthusiasm for just the subject in terms of having engineering around them in their daily lives. So I've been encouraging girls from year five to know where they want to go. If they want to be an engineer, this is the route that they need to travel. I've also done careers work with year five, year six and year seven to help them make the right choices in year eight and nine. Teachers are there not only to encourage but to also give you the advice and they can actually find the advice for you. I'm really, really interested and passionate about science. So, and like, um, lots of people say that there is um, a lack of engineers at the moment. So, yeah, it would be something that I'd be really interested to look into for the future. Yeah, definitely. When I think of engineers, I do automatically think of men. But uh, like, from doing this um, this project at the Big Bang, it's kind of showing me that because I never thought I would understand engineering. I always thought it was way too complicated for me to understand. Sometimes physics does get like really confusing and complicated, but that's the very but so does everything else. So I think you just gotta really like give your like give it a go. I can see where historically it's been a man's world, but and I think quite a lot of our shop floor technicians are guys. We do have a lot more women coming through on the apprentice schemes for the tech to be technicians. Anybody can do it, as long as you have a decent head for figures, numbers, a bit of maths, and can really get a feel for what the whole system's doing. It's not an intimidating environment, and it is something that women can excel at. If girls understood the, the opportunities that employers were offering, then I think you know things would be a lot better just, just for that. It's quite simple, really, I think. We're very good at thinking of the bigger picture. We can um, be faced with a problem and have the ten and some people have the tendency to focus on the tiny things that they could solve. I think as women we have 
think of the bigger picture, we can help work together to solve the problem. I find that women work really well in the space sector because we have so many different things to consider and we have to talk to all, all different types of people, there's different disciplines that you have to interact with and just constantly having a lot of information at the back of your head really helps. If you're good at your job and you want to succeed, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. So I've come to the end of my day here at the Big Bang Fair. It's been a great experience and I've spoken to lots of young people as well as professionals about what it's like to work in the industry. I hope what i found out, as well as events like this, can help people make career decisions based on knowing all the facts about jobs, so they can feel more happy and confident about their choices. This is Francesca Hand at the Big Bang Fair in London.